Okay then, uh, we're going to start to look at the individual uh, instruments and devices in a bit more detail. Uh, the first up is our, we, we create an instrument and it's first on the list, the Redrum drum computer. Okay, and there it is. So it, it puts into the rack our drum machine which is uh, quite complicated on on the look at first look at it, but uh, in actual fact, it's it's fairly straightforward as to how it does what it does. Uh, we have each of these channels here represents a drum, so we could have a, a kick, bass, there, uh, a snare, and then right up to hi hats, closed and open. Um, and, and various other symbols, but I mean, we could pretty much put whatever drums, or not even drums, we can just sample uh, any sound that we want to use in there, really, within, within uh, I'm going to say it, within reason. I keep trying not to say that, but it just slips out all the time. You can, it seems, do anything in reason, uh, and even reason essentials. So. Let's have a quick look because we're going to do some sampling. Then we'll we'll talk a bit about how we set up the sampler. Uh, the master section here is is there's nothing in here at the moment. So if we sh oh there is something in here. It's a standard um, uh, mastering suite. So we've got an equalizer, stereo imager, compressor, and a maximizer. But forget that for now. We're not going to talk about that in this session. So we can just reduce minimize that so that it's we can see that it's there but we don't have to get bogged down in the detail um, up here we have the input output control and in particular we're concerned with the sampling input now, I'm speaking to you on a microphone which comes in in channel 2 so you can see that, that the right uh, channel of my sampling input is active there's nothing coming through because if I flip the rack round you can see that uh, channel 1 goes into my left, channel 2 goes into my right into this orange area here which is the sampling input. Now anything that can use samples and the drum machine that we're looking at is one of those things will take its source from these inputs here. So I need to set it up so that I'm, I'm, I've got both channels coming in on um, one microphone otherwise my drums will all be or my samples that I'm using as drums will be all one-sided so if you notice here channels 5 and 6 are uh, a pair which is connected up to my microphone so when I flip round here I'm just going to move these audio inputs to channel 5 and 6 here I don't know if you can see those um, I'm working on a laptop so the resolution isn't what it might be, but um, five and six here are taking the sound from my microphone into the sampling input. So anything now that uses a sampler will take its source. And you can see now, that instead of just the right channel being active when I'm talking, uh, we've got a left hand and a right input active there. Okay. So then, if we come to this first channel, so this these each of these represents a drum in our kit. Um, so for the first drum in the drum kit we're going to have a, 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 a bassy kick drum. This key here will sample for us. So if I click on the sample, boom. I'm going to do that again. Boom. So now I have a sound in there and I can play it back using this trigger here. Boom. Boom. Now Boom. you'll see that that's a bit lower Boom. than I recorded Boom. it at. And the reason for that is is that the pitch is set here uh, at minus 15. If I bring the pitch up to zero, that will be at, at, at the pitch that I recorded it. Boom. 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 And I can change the pitch. Boom. To a comedy kick drum, and to 
something way down in my boots. Mm -hmm. So let's have it somewhere around as our kick drum. Let's um, put something in for, I don't know, a snare. I don't know if I can imitate a snare. Okay. And then let's just stick a hi-hat in there for the sake of argument. Okay, so now I've got three basic drums that I've just sampled from a microphone. Um, so, coming back to uh, the, the first kick drum, uh, if I play it, if you notice these buttons down here, select, it's on, on, on three at the moment, because that's the last one we were working with. So if I play this one, I want to select that channel, and then I want to tell it how often to, to play that sound. So I then move down, we'll, we'll talk about the, the other knobs um, later probably in a, in a future uh, session. But down here we have a, a sequencer which tells the drum machine how to go about playing the various drums. So it's set up with, at the moment, with 16 steps. We set the number of steps here. Um, so I've got 16 steps in my bar and the tempo of my bar is set down in the transport area down here. We're at 120 at the moment, 120 beats per minute. So let's just put a, a basic four beats to the floor um, configuration. So I have these four highlighted here. Now, if I now run and, and I'm, it, it knows that I'm working in with this drum here because that's the one that's selected. So if I run that now, what it's doing is the sequencer is scanning across and every time it encounters a lit key down here in the sequencer, it will play that drum. Okay? So if I take this one out, you can see, and I could take this one out, and then I've got just a, a two step beat. Okay? So we'll keep the four to the floor on on that, and then we'll move on to the second channel. We'll select that, and then we'll add to the second and the fourth a snare. Okay, and then finally a bit of a hi hat. We'll select that in. That, that's a basic rhythm that we've got set up with three drums. Okay? And um, we'll leave it there for now and we'll come on in a bit more detail and play around with some of the finer settings next time. Okay, thanks for listening.